This is Elton Kane for Finextra at Cybos, and I'm here with Theresa Connors of RBS. Theresa, it's been six months since the payment systems regulator came into being in the UK. What changes have you seen so far, if any, and what, uh, what changes do you see on the horizon? I think the first thing to say is the advent of the payment systems regulator on the 1st of April this year is very good news for the industry. They have three core objectives, to foster innovation, to encourage competition and of course primarily to protect the end user um, of any payment system. Activity has started, it's early days but it promises to, to really invigorate the UK market. The other thing I would say is I wonder if other regions and nations across the globe are looking at this because it is unique to the UK and it might well be replicated in other areas. With uh, uh, PSD2 and access to an account enabling new market entrants in the payment space, do banks see this as a competitive threat or opportunity for collaboration? Very much um, an opportunity either for in individual new propositions and for collaboration too. Of course, the PSD2 regulates TPPs, third party providers, which have been operating an unregulated form in certain parts of the globe already. So it's good news because it brings a more level playing field. Um, the technical standards, of course, for access to accounts need to be developed. So that's something that the industry is keeping a close eye on. And from then, we can really start developing new propositions. Some banks have even been considering becoming TPPs themselves with some new propositions. What's RBS's strategy in this space? Well, I think like, like many banks, we're examining all, all options, including that one. One of the, the risks uh, in this space for banks is that they become uh, just maintainers of accounts while others take on uh, the service and uh, revenue opportunities. Uh, what can banks do to best avoid this? I, I hear that a lot. Um, and yes, of, of course it is a challenge, but it's been a challenge for, for quite some time. It's not a new challenge and it's certainly not one that we're, we're feeling in terms of loss of accounts or loss of strength and depth of relationship with our customers. Because very much we still have today that the bank account is very much at the heart of a customer's payment strategy and be that a consumer or a corporate or an FI business customer. Um, even though there are, there are some overlay services, the bank account is still very much at the heart of the relationship. That's great, Theresa. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you. And thank you for watching.